Good evening, my beautiful family, and welcome to Tea Time with Linda. On the docket this evening, we're gonna talk about a bunch of the castmates, and then I will respond to some comments and questions that I have received and get a little bit more personal with you guys. Um, I found a new 90-day gender swap, Smasher Pass, and I've been waiting to look at that with you guys, so we're gonna do that last. Let's get started. Since the news about Sophie's mom came out at the beginning of the week, the only updates I have are that the mother was being held on a $5,000 bail. She did not post bail. She is still locked up according to Mary Pants, which I believe is a trustworthy source. This just in, Kiki and Kibitz has reported that Claire has been released and the case was dismissed. That will be all. I also found Sophie's YouTube channel and I found it through her website here. She has all of these links. I was checking them out, seeing what she's up to, and the first one listed right at the top took us to her OnlyFans. Let's shift gears to love and paradise. Okay, first this guy, I think his name is Luke. So many people have a problem with the age gap and I know that that stereotype exists for a reason. I mean, stereotypes are true like 75% of the time, but not every dude is a predator. And I think that is very evident with these two. They have generational age gaps, but nobody really seems to mind, not that I have seen. And I don't know if it's because people are afraid that they're gonna be called like homophobic or something, but let's just take the sexuality out of it because I honestly don't think it's related. This guy is not a creep. He's not a predator, which is why for me, the age gaps in this season aren't bothering me. This man bothers me, okay? Drag him through the mud, through the sewers, up and down and everywhere. He is a predator in my unprofessional opinion, okay? Oh man, if he wants to strike down my channel, I will wear it as a badge of honor. But more on him later. Michael was spotted in Indianapolis and apparently Angela saw the videos and was leaving these nasty comments. I did see them, but I didn't take a screenshot, so I don't have it. I think she would attempt to find him. So if any of you guys see him, just try to keep it a little bit private. But the city, the location, <laughs> maybe you can help him. Maybe you can help hide him and then tell me about it. It was also reported that Angela is claiming she will not be divorcing Michael and as long as they are legally married, she will not allow him to be on TLC. <laughs> on one of her TikTok live streams, she claims that only 30% of the viewers don't like her. I have seen some of Angela's lives and she does have a lot of fans. I don't know who these people are or where they come from, but she has fans and they're feeding into her delusion. Oh, Brandon and Mary, oh my gosh. They have allowed one of their followers from America to come and visit them and stay with them in the Philippines. There is a picture here of this random dude holding their baby. And there were also other pictures, which I can't find it now where he's kissing the baby. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that Mary could stoop any lower after those the cancer scam. This is scary. Rumors are also speculating that Jasmine is sort of leaking info that she's with someone else. I honestly could not care less. Kyle Gordy is not Kyle Gordy. His real name is Kyle Crane. Kyle has been working on overtime trying to get everyone's videos taken down because obviously it is going to wreck his reputation. But at this moment in time, he is trying to gain citizenship in the UK, which is why all of the videos are being blocked only in the UK. The more I think about this, the more angry I get. He's not even a legal resident of the UK yet, but somehow he managed to strong arm YouTube into protecting him. At first, I was so angry at TLC to the point where I was questioning my entire channel. I was like, do I really want to spend my time talking about what this network produces? But the uproar about Kyle has been so loud. I was thinking, you know, 
if it wasn't for them casting him, all of the other videos about him would just be flying under the radar still. And he, he would go on doing what he's been doing and victimizing women. Some of the information that has come out about Kyle is that he has a severe genetic disorder called familial dysautonomia, I think, or FD for short. If Kyle were to get a woman pregnant who has the same recessive gene, the child could be born with this condition and worst case scenario will die. There is no cure for the disease, it's progressive, and 50% of people who have it are dead by the time that they're 30. <sighs> I am praying to God that the women who have crossed paths with him will start coming forward, they'll start trickling out of the woodwork. I know that if they had a bad experience with him, it can be very difficult to talk about those things, but I feel like it's necessary or he's going to keep on victimizing other women. In my opinion, Kyle has such a grandiose idea of himself. I think he really, really genuinely believes he is untouchable. If one of his recipients ever sees this video, I hope you had your child tested and God forbid anything be wrong with your baby. But if there is, sue him for all that he is worth. Everything. Get him! The whole internet would have your back. I was listening to Daily Soap Dish on his latest video about Kyle, which is very good. Go check it out after this. And he shows us these records of Kyle having a conversation. And he talks about doing genetic testing with 23andMe, which is an ancestry service. I do not have personal experience with 23andMe, but I do with um, ancestry DNA. It's possible they are very different, but when I did it, it automatically had my mom, my dad, my sister, my aunts and uncles, cousins, it knew who I was related to and how closely I was related to them. Like it could tell if these people were within your inner circle, like you probably live with them or like more distant relatives. It could tell you that. So the point I'm trying to make is what happens when his kids inevitably do this? Because a lot of people do, a lot. I've done it, my husband's done it. Most of my family has done it. Ancestry is important to a lot of people. And I would imagine a lot of the children are going to want to reach out to them. Kids want to know who their parents are or what happens if one of them finds out that they're married to their half sister or half brother. In the preview for the next episode, it looks like Ani is taking a pregnancy test and a lot of people think that it's actually a COVID test and this is just fake drama for the show. I have taken pregnancy tests that look like this. In fact, the test that told me that I was pregnant with my daughter was from the dollar store and it looked exactly like that. All right, so that is it for the drama on the castmates. I'm gonna get into comments. I've gotten a lot of comments about my channel being a copycat of my thoughts and I did kind of anticipate that happening. I thought it could be a possibility. I really didn't want that to happen. My biggest fear was offending her, but she has been absolutely wonderful and so kind to me. There's a lot of faceless channels that cover 90 Day Fiance and in my opinion, my opinion, having your face is the best option, but I didn't want to do that for personal reasons. But at the same time, I also wanted a face because personally I like seeing, I just, I don't know, whether it's a character or something, I just, I don't know, I like watching it. That's just my own personal preference. My original inspiration to get started on YouTube was actually from Cinnamon Toast Ken. He was just a regular guy, a husband, a dad. There was nothing really special or flashy about any of his content or about him himself. And <laughs> that's not a knock, Ken. 
I love you. <laughs> love you, love your family, all of it. And in one of his videos I was watching, he's like, anyone can do what we're doing. Just pick up your camera and record yourself reacting to content. And I was like, yeah, you know, why not give it a try? I did dabble on other platforms and then I ended up scrapping all of that and I started this channel because at that time I was just binge watching everyone else's 90 Day Fiance content and I wanted more. And I thought, well, maybe there's other people who want more like me and will appreciate my perspective because a lot of times I'm feeling things that other people don't reciprocate. So yeah. It's kind of been a roller coaster, which was to be expected. My analytics this month are really, really bad. And putting aside the fact that maybe I just suck at YouTube, I think number one, the cause is the original 90 day just ended and the happily ever after cast sucks. Nobody likes it, nobody is tuning in. And I also made the decision to not cover Love in Paradise. I definitely left money on the table, but I'm going to stick to my guns, okay? I can be patient and wait. Speaking of leaving money on the table, I received my first sponsorship opportunity and I didn't even respond because not only is it a product I don't use, I actually use its competitor. So, so I couldn't in good faith recommend it, but it was exciting to see the offer. I feel like it's our channel. We're building a little community and it's exciting watching it grow. Let me know if you enjoyed Tea Time with Linda. If so, drop me some comments or if you have questions that we can dig into next week. If I make another video, we can get into that. <laughs> I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, I promised a reaction video. Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. <gasps> okay. Um, Mahmoud makes a beautiful woman. Um, Sophie, he's cute. He's cute. Mm -hmm. the, the hair, no. Oof. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> she <laughs> She just looks stone. You guys. No. What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awful. That's Rob. Wait, that looks like an actress. Who does that remind me of? Rob is beautiful. I mean, even without this, Rob is just a beautiful man. He's very pretty. In fact, he's so pretty, I wouldn't want to date him. He just, he's too pretty. He looks, he looks like a girl. Oh no. Ugh. Wait. Igor. Igor's pretty. It doesn't look like Igor though. I don't know. Pretty. Dude. <laughs> uh, that's Mary. And it looks like a swallow, doesn't it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was the best they could do. <laughs> I just love they went in that direction. Um, yeah, he makes a cute girl. It's fine. Okay, this girl, not cute at all. I personally, when I watched the, um, 
the first episode of love in paradise and i saw her and it was like they were trying to showcase like how sexy she was i was cracking up she looks like she looks like a preteen i'm so sorry she's <laughs> she's not sexy <laughs> She looks like a child and she she is very boyish. She has a very boyish face for sure. <laughs> like Why am I terrified? That's Sarper. <gasps> no wonder I'm terrified. It's the eyes. Oh. You guys they did her so dirty <laughs> that's not her nose dude is this like a before 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 all oh, the plastic surgery With the background? Is that Kyle? Cause those look like beautiful eyes. And in my opinion, Kyle has very creepy eyes. I used to be of the opinion because I was biased because I do have big eyes in real life. I used to be of the opinion that big eyes are just beautiful. No matter what they look like, they're beautiful. If they're big, they're beautiful. And I have since deviated from that opinion. There are some people who have creepy eyes. And if they're bigger, they even look more creepy. And Kyle is one of those people who, in my opinion, has very creepy eyes. But in this, if this is Kyle, they look nice. The eyes look nice. Who is it? Guys, Sophie's got to be one of the prettier girls on this season so far. Mm-mm. 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 Ugh. He's got acne. You can see the stubble. Who photoshopped this? You did an excellent job. Are you for real? She looks pretty good. They smoothed out all of her skin. <laughs> no. That doesn't look anything like Ashley. No, that one sucks. That janky, whoever did that, you suck. Um, okay. Okay, I feel like it's the same level of attractiveness, like, mm. <laughs> hey guys. Oh. <laughs> who decided? <laughs> <laughs> 